Morning Oilers. Welcome to this week's campus update. I hope you all had a great weekend. I know I did. This week's homeroom theme was grit and resilience, which is a fancy way of saying someone that doesn't give up. Here's Ms. Trelis giving you a little message of that. Hey Oilers, just wanted to give you a quick reminder to keep working hard these last few months of school. Remember to be resilient. This means to recover quickly from challenges, setbacks, and hardships. If you don't do well on a quiz or miss a few homework assignments, don't give up. Remember there are so many resources for you here on campus. Go to tutorial, talk to your teachers, go to a few tutoring sessions, or go to the writing lab to get help with written assignments. We know you can do it. We're all here for you to support you with whatever you might need. You got this, Oilers. Stay focused. Finish out the year strong. Thanks, Ms. Trelis. I'm going to show my resilience by reading the rest of the script. Up next, we have a segment where we show off the fur babies of your favorite educators. Let's check out Mr. Nicholson's Little Dogs on this installment of... Teacher's Pets! All right, my name is Mr. Nicholson, and I have two dogs at home. They are both cockapoos. That's a mix of cocker spaniel and poodle, and their names are Hannah and Leia, and they are named after Star Wars characters. My favorite thing about them is their personalities. They could not be more different. Hannah is the smaller of the two and she's definitely more of the poodle. She's very needy. She needs all sorts of love and all sorts of attention. And she is terrified of anything that is slightly bigger than her. But yet, she will put her life on the line to defend the house. So she keeps us safe from lizards, squirrels, birds, yet a roll of toilet paper, terrified, runs away. Fight or flight, always flight. Leia is more of the Cocker Spaniel, more so playful, wants to, brings you a ball, shows her affection by bringing you a toy. She's constantly wanting to play, but yet, like many dogs, she's afraid of things like fireworks and thunder. So they really like balance each other out. Leia also always has to keep an eye on Hannah, needs to know where Hannah is at all times. Very worried about her. I would recommend that people get cockapoos. They're very, very fun. Uh, you get a balance of the playful Cocker Spaniel and the kind of lap dog poodle, and they kind of fit all time frames. If you want to play, they want to play. If you want to just relax, they want to relax. I would 100% recommend them. I wish I had dogs like that. All I have are mops with legs. Still, I am the alpha leader of my mops. Want to work on your leadership skills? Well, the Link Crew is for you. Let's see what they're up to. Link Crew is a program on campus we have available to all seniors and juniors that want to join and we basically help freshmen get integrated on campus and teach them about all the awesome programs we have on HBHS because it is such a large campus with so many things going on so if they're interested in any sports or activities or clubs on campus we help them kind of find their groove. Um, initially I joined Link Crew because of the experience I had coming into freshman orientation and how um, the freshman orientation and my Link Crew leaders helped me throughout the year and then I thought I wanted to be part of that and um, possibly even could have made it better by adding new programs and new activities to get freshmen involved throughout the entire year. I joined Link Crew to make new friends, get social, be involved within the school and to also um, put smiles on other people's faces. I would advise the future leaders to put themselves out there, don't be afraid to be silly and to have fun and to definitely talk to others and reach out. Um, some advice I'd give to a future link leader is definitely to stay connected with your freshmen for as long as you can because I still talk to one of my freshmen I had junior year and we're both in MMT together and we jam out all the time with guitar so like don't treat them like kids you're mentoring as a job but honestly they're friends you make and it's a lot of fun. Awesome that would be a great thing to do for us freshmen because we're clueless well most of us anyways. Want to blow off some steam? How stressed out are you? Are you super stressed, super chill, or somewhere in between? Some degree of stress could be healthy to inspire you to be on your A-game, but unhealthy amounts of stress could lead to serious side effects. But for this reason, some of us here in the science department are piloting a new idea, a virtual reality stress reduction technique created by Mrs. Schottmeyer's biology students that will be featuring at the March 23rd Steam Fair at Marina High School. Join us to explore a new virtual reality experience. It is currently housed in room C3 in a controlled experiment. It may be available to all HBHS students for fast stress reduction. That looks like a lot of fun. Now we're gonna see how a business that has been started by students is doing. Grab some salsa and let's go. Starting your own business, the American dream, food, the other American dream. But what does it really take to put these two things together? Is it possible for students like us to turn a profit doing what we love? 
Ian Carr, a junior at HBHS, is trying to do exactly that, starting with some fresh tortilla chips. But could he be running into problems with the law? We asked him for his thoughts. General, I make batches of around 100 chips. I only work out of my own kitchen, so I can only use my own ingredients and pans. I don't think there's any problem making and selling chips, or any food for that matter. It's just like a bake sale. Most home businesses don't need a business permit, so the main thing I'm careful to do is use ingredients that won't trip people's allergies, like nut oil. And I work in a clean kitchen. Clean mostly being common sense. While making and selling chips from home is actually perfectly legal, regulating the home environment is the gray area. Health inspectors or officials won't enter homes without a warrant and a strong reason to do so, so it's important to disclose your ingredients to prevent accidentally harming your customers, as well as making your food in the right environment. So keep your kitchen clean and don't poison your customers. Well, now I'm hungry for something a little more healthy. Well, perfect, because now we have everyone's second favorite segment, HP Bites. Hi, my name is Joel Burkhalter. I'm the district manager over at Everbowl. We're located on the corner of Golden West and Garfield, right next to the Rubios. Uh, what we are and what we're about is our, our why for our company is Unevolve. And what we really believe in is helping people get back to their roots of more movement and eating real foods. Uh, so we do unlimited boosts and toppings for no extra charge. You can either create your own acai or other vitality bowls. And we also have smoothies, salads, drinks as well. So what I wanted to share with you guys and we're really excited about is in uh, two weeks from now, we're doing free bowls from four to seven. We really wanted to uh, just share with the community, help spread our, our passion and our mission. And I know we're really new here, so I know a lot of you guys have never heard of us before. So we really wanted to just open our doors on Sunday the 24th and offer free bowls for everyone to try. Uh, and hopefully you'll enjoy it and, and come back and, and see us again. That was ever sweet. And you know what else is sweet? APA's musical theater department. And for the first time in Orange County High School history, they're doing the Phantom of the Opera. My name is Ali Bosser, and I play Christine Dye in Phantom of the Opera. Christine Dye starts out in the chorus of the opera, and then one day she gets an opportunity to sing in the opera, and with the Phantom's help with um, voice lessons, she's able to succeed. <laughs> The Phantom is a musical genius who uh, seems to take kind of a mentoring role with Christine and so he tries to teach her to become a better singer so that way one day she'll be a star. However, through this he ends up falling madly in love with her. Wow, that looks like a great show. It's gonna be a big one, so don't miss it. Now let's run over and see how our Euler track team has been doing. So today we are running against LaSalle. They are usually pretty good, so it'll be good competition. But track and field has never, never had a senior day before, and this is our first senior day out of like all the years here at Huntington. In track, I do the four by four, the 400, the 200, and I also throw a discus. So in track, I train five days a week, and then at home, I train on the weekends, never recover. Don't worry about it. Always ice and heat. Stretch when you can. So I learned the value of a team, and it's a very individual sport, but still you're working for your team, and it's really great just coming out here and being able to help each other out and encourage each other, and we really cheer each other on in the meets. So we practice five days a week here on the track, um, after school, two to four. Um, and then everyone splits up into different different event groups and does their own workouts. Um, today is our last home meet, so we will be traveling to different schools the rest of the season to run. Today we have a track meet against Los Alamitos, and we're all pretty excited because they're a good team. And, you know, hopefully you're going to take some gold medals today. Well, that's all for today, Oilers. And remember, goldfish have a memory span of about three seconds. How about you?